This one is my own personal pick of the week. I just really like all the different mechanisms that work in this game and the way that they're all tied together. I think it looks really easy to learn and play. And I think the theme for this one is just so spot on because it does involve polyominoes and putting the food items onto the grill. And for all you barbecue lovers out there, you know exactly how much it feels like you're putting all those Tetris skills to use anytime you're trying to cram all that food onto a barbecue. But the way that this game works is that players are going to be taking turns as the active player and on your turn you'll be able to take two actions. And there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do but the general flow of this game is that you're going to be drafting cards from one of two displays. One's going to be your meat deck and one's going to be your veggie deck. You'll be able to choose which of those cards that you want to draft based on their characteristics and then you can either move them into your prepare area or you can move them straight onto the grill. One thing to note here is that the grill is separated into the meat section and the veggie section because of course you don't want those pesky vegetables contaminating your meat. This means that you do have to keep the different types of food to the respective areas of the grill, but there are also some items that come in a vessel, let's say like baked beans, and those can be placed anywhere on the grill, even crossing between both of the sections at the same time. But of course, no one wants to bring shame to their barbecue cooking skills, so you don't want to overcook the food. This means that you will also have an action to move it over to your rest area, and depending on the type of food that you have, you might want it resting longer than others. And this is where I think all the magic comes together in this game, because each of the cards that you're going to be gaining are going to have three different stats associated with them. There is the prep stat that's going to be going up anytime that you season some food that is in your prep area. And then there is the cooking stat that's going to be going up the longer it's on the grill. And the interesting thing about this is the rate that that goes up is going to correlate to whichever temperature you have the grill set to. And this is a shared grill, so any player that changes the temperature of the grill is actually going to be affecting all the player's food that's out on that grill at that time. And of course, there's going to be a stat for the rest phase as well. And the interesting thing about all these stats is that you don't just want to max out all of them as much as possible, because depending on where you end up in each of those stats, you're going to get the amount of victory points depicted at that point in the track. And these are not necessarily linearly going up or down. They can vary depending on where you are in the track. So it's all about timing each of these three stats and trying to maximize each of these in order to get the most amount of points as possible for a single item. And it's not the easiest thing to see in this one picture of the game that I have, but there are actually two different temperature dials available on the grill. One is going to be controlling the side for your meat, and one is going to be controlling the side for your vegetables, so you can actually have both of those regions at a different temperature. And players can also move their food from the main grill onto the warming rack, which will experience a lower grill temperature, giving you a little bit more security if you're trying to get it just right. Once again, the different actions that you have available to you are to draft one of the food cards and then take the associated polyomino. And then for free, you'll be able to choose whether you want to put that into your prep area or put it straight onto the grill. One thing to note here is that if you can't find space for it on either of those spots, then you can't do that action. But you can also use an action to season any of the food that you have in your prep area, or you can move a tile from the prep area onto the barbecue. Or you could take a towel off the barbecue onto your rest area or serve that food from your rest area. And one thing to note here is that there are a couple free actions as well because anytime you put food onto the grill you're allowed to raise or lower the temperature of that grill by one notch. And then also you can rearrange your prep board any way that you see fit as you get more food put into it in order to try and make room for any of the other food items that you might want to put on there. Players will be gaining victory points based on the different stats of the different food items that they're able to serve, and the player with the most victory points at the end of the game wins the game, and of course if you are interested in this one, you can check it out, I have links in the description below.